Hi students, how are you? Um, in last two lecture, we talk about the malocclusion. Uh, in this two uh, next lecture, uh, we talk about the etiology of malocclusion. Okay. Uh, etiology of malocclusion. Malocclusion is not a disease. There is no definite uh, and only one factor. Uh, so it's um, multifactorial. Okay. A skeletal and dental uh, problem resulting from specific etiological factors. Causes of malocclusion are usually grouped because it is not a specific. There is no one uh, problem that causes malocclusion. It's multifactorial. Malocclusion affect the primary size principally. Involved are affected the bones of the uh, facial skeleton, uh, affected the teeth, affect the neuromuscular system, affect the soft tissue parts. Okay. In diagnosis and treatment uh, of malocclusion with the teeth or the chewing system and next to factors that affect growth and development should be examined. Okay. Uh, a specific factor, mouth breathing, may the, by the time affected on the uh, tissue like mastectomy system and uh, as a result they will lead to malocclusion occurring. Okay. So uh, this uh, question is very important. Uh, causes by the time they acted on the tissue, they produce a result. Okay. So the primary etiological size in neuromuscular system, bone, tissue, and soft tissue. Okay. Uh, time, uh, also the causes and the clinical entity. The causes the effect maybe uh, it it's maybe uh, the heredity, developmental defects. Uh, of unknown region, maybe due to trauma, trauma in uh, period prenatal uh, time or postnatal uh, trauma, okay? Or maybe physical agents like premature extraction of the primary teeth, uh, nature of the food, habits like thumb sucking or finger sucking, tongue thrusting, lip sucking, lip biting, posture, nail biting, other, and other habits, okay? Uh, or maybe related to diseases, system, uh, systemic disease, endocrine dis uh, disorders, local diseases, uh, nasopharyngeal diseases, uh, or disrupt uh, respiratory function, or maybe um, uh, gingival and periodontal disease, tumors, caries. Okay, caries uh, may be lead to, uh, maybe due to the premature loss of the primary teeth or disruptions in sequence of eruption. Okay or maybe uh, lead to the loss of the permanent teeth and also the malnutrition the origin uh, original causes of orthodontic question heredity uh, developmental causes uh, trauma physical agent habit disease and malnutrition so when uh, when i ask you about the origin causes of the orthodontic a question you you ask me you answer me by this seven okay uh, time may it may be uh, continuous or intermittent okay uh, may act at different age of the levels okay uh, tissue we said is a neuromuscular tissue teeth uh, bone and cartilage soft tissue uh, and as a result we can see a malfunction or mal occlusion okay primary etiological size is the first is the neuromuscular system the neuromuscular system plays a primary role in the etiology of the dentofacial deformity by the effects of the reflex contraction on the bone, uh, bony, skeletal, and dentition. Okay, so both bones and teeth are affected by this uh, system. Okay, uh, bone, uh, the bone of the face, uh, maybe maxilla or mandible arch. Okay, so also affected in this. Uh, can affect in, in the malocclusion. Many of the most common serious malocclusion are skeletal in origin. The cephalometric procedure aids uh, in, the, in the identification and located the regions of osseous disarmament. So we need to uh, cephalometric tracing to know from where the problem, from maxilla or mandible or both of them, and how we can, and they give you idea on how, uh, for how we can treat the patient. Okay, in the orthodontic uh, treatment of skeletal disharmony, if there is a skeletal problem, so we can treat it by two way. First of all, it's uh, orthopedic treatment when the patient come in growing uh, period, but um, 
sometimes we can uh, maybe he uh, come late or also he's growth period but we needed to an alternative uh, uh, treatment we call we say this camouflage treatment okay so it's camouflage treatment is just orthodontic effects it's just or dental effects okay Teeth, the teeth may be a primary site in the etiology of the dentofacial deformity in many varied ways. Uh, gross variation in size and shape are encountered frequently and always are concerned. So the teeth may be sometimes a large uh, jaw and small teeth or a small jaw and large teeth. Okay, so teeth size is also important and numbers is also. Treatment of the malocclusion that originated within the dentition is carried out by moving teeth, which is very different from condition reflexes or direction bone growth. Soft tissue, the rule of the soft tissue, other than neuromuscular, it in the etiology of malocclusion is not so clear descriptively, nor is uh, it as important as that of the three sites dis uh, discussed previously. Any factor that upset or uh, appreciably alters the physiological status of any part of the masticatory system may come to be indicated as an etiological matter of importance. Okay, so soft tissue is also important for us. Can cl uh, classify malocclusion into two uh, general uh, factors, okay, and local factors. Today we talk about the general factors. Uh, local factors uh, of it or local etiological we talk in the next lecture okay general factors heredity first of all heredity is maybe they um, coming from the family okay or maybe to the congenitally uh, like cleft lip uh, torticollis collidocorneal dystosis uh, cephalis uh, or maybe due to the environmental factor prenatal and postnatal period or due to the metabolic diseases or due to the nutrition okay uh, or maybe abnormal pressure habits okay uh, like bad habits or due to the trauma the local factors is maybe tooth number anomalies uh, or tooth shape or size anomalies abnormal labial frenum or early loose of milk teeth or primary teeth Delayed eruption of permanent teeth or primary teeth remain as long time. There is a retention, abnormal eruption way, ankylosis, dental caries, uh, improper dental restoration. All of this is a local factor. General factors that uh, causes a malocclusion. First of all, we say this heredity. This you remember you, you maybe you study the genetic. Uh, there are some th things come from the family maybe from mother or fathers for you okay you can see maybe you have the same eyes or you can see they have the same color of the hair or the same length and the same type of the teeth all of this is affected on your uh yours this is a genetic your genetics okay or maybe you are similar to your uncles or aunts all of this is is genetic heredity you coming from your family for you also the malocclusion is common some especially the class three most of them uh, we ask about uh, when the patient come uh, with the class three malocclusion we ask him about the heredity uh, most of them they have a family history okay so some malocclusion coming from family this condition are primarily affected by heredity, size of the teeth, length and width of dental arch, deep depth of palatal, crowding of teeth, diastema, uh, the degree of overjet, overbite size, and shape of the frenum. All of this is affected by the heredity. Okay. Also, size and shape of the tongue, congenital defect, facial asymmetry, micrognathia, micrognathia. Uh, oligodontia, anodontia, oligodontia, there is more teeth, anodontia, less teeth, shape of the teeth anomalies, uh, diastema due to the frenum, mandibular pro uh, retrusion, mandibular prognathism, deep bite, open bite, okay? All of this is affected by the genetic. Also, there is a congenital. Uh, we, we remember we talk a, a lot of the uh, cliff palate, also maybe a cerebral palsy, toricolis, uh, cleidocranial dystosis, or genital congenital syphilis, ectodermial dysplasia. All this is uh, uh, maybe birth defect. Okay. 
cliff clip and pellet, one third or one half of the patient have a family history. Okay, the etiology of the cleft pellet, heredity, mothers had been taking medicine during pregnancy, the mother had been exposed in the first three months to viral diseases, mother had been exposed in the first three months to radiation, uh, the bad nutrition of the mother, some uh, systemic uh, diseases, okay. Uh, we talk. This um, uh, etiology of the cleft lip palate is very, very important. Don't forget this. Uh, is this uh, one of the questions in the uh, exams? Okay. In the treatment of the cleft lip and palate, we need surgeon, pediatrics, uh, prothodontist, orthodontist, and speech therapy. All these specialties work together as a team. Okay. Uh, cerebral palsy is condition uh, sometimes thought uh, of as a group of disorders that can involve brain or and nerve system function, such as movement, learning, hearing, seeing, and thinking. Okay, uh, cerebral palsy is caused by injuries or abnormalities of the brain. Most of these problems occur as the, ba in, in the baby grows in the uh, womb, but they can happen at any time during the first two it happened in the uh, at any uh, time during the first two years of life while well, the baby's brain is still developing okay symptoms you can see difficult sucking or feeding in infants or chewing swelling in older children and adults also they have speech problems okay uh, torticollis uh, is a twisted uh, neck in which the head is tipped to one side. Okay, sometimes you can see um, uh, people's their um, head or the neck they will be tilted. Okay, while the chin is turned to the other. Okay, torticollis may develop in childhood or adulthood. Congenital torticollis uh, may present at birth. Okay. Uh, uh, may occur in the fetal's head is in the wrong position while growing in the womb. Okay. Symptoms here you can see knee, uh, neck pain, shoulder is higher one uh, on one side of the body, the stiffness of the neck muscles. Also, you can see swelling in the neck muscles. Okay. Uh, Cleidocranial distosis here you can see this patient here. They can make the shoulders come to each, uh, make in contact with each other. Okay, this uh, she have a problem. Uh, this is abnormal, maybe due to the abnormal uh, gain. Is also maybe coming from the hair family. Okay, symptoms here you can see patients with the cleidocranial sources have a jaw uh, uh, and bra area that is uh, sticks out. The middle of their nose uh, nasal bridge is wide. The collar bones uh, may be missing or abnormal develop. Also, for this sake, she can push or they can push their shoulder together in front of the body. Primary teeth do not fall out at the expected time. Adult teeth may uh, develop later than normal. And an extra set of adult teeth grow in. This uh, causes the normal teeth to become crowd crowded. So you can see there is a malocclusion. Okay, congenital cep uh, cephalus is caused by the bacterium Tryponium pallidum. <coughs> sorry, which is uh, passed from mother to child during vital development or at birth. You can see here abnormal notch and uh, big shaped uh, teeth. You can see this type of the teeth is special for them, Hutchinson's uh, teeth. Okay. Ectodermal dysplasia is a group of condition in which there is abnormal development of the skin, hair, nail, uh, teeth, or <coughs> sorry for um, this. Uh, you can see abnormal development of the skin, hair, nail. Okay, look at the teeth. They have a missing fingers. Also, they have a problem in sweat glands. Septums abnormal or missing teeth, large for head, lower than normal number of teeth, low nasal bridge. Okay. Uh, also, there is an environmental factor. We say the prenatal and postnatal prenatal factors. <coughs> Sorry for this. Uh, the baby is affected by the events that had been exposed in the womb. 
The mothers died uh, from using the drug, alcohol or smoking, exposure radiation, or maybe she see uh, viral Ebola, uh, the position of the vitals in the uterus. The mother had been exposed in the first three months to viral diseases, or this is uh, viral environmental factors in prenatal factors. Okay, you can see also uh, Biri Robin, this syndromic. In this type of the patient, they have very small uh, lower jaw, and, uh, and the position is behind. So they need uh, the tongue sliding backward. The situation is called glossoptosis. Okay, this is dangerous for them. Maybe they will be die because the tongue go to the um, air respiratory uh, way, so they can't breathe. Okay, so they can. Uh, this, they need a special type of appliances for this baby to prevent the tongue go back. Okay. Postnatal factors, also there is a muscle paralysis due to the birth trauma, incorrect application of the forceps uh, that lead to the injury, skull fracture or nerve damage or brain damage, okay, or uh, destruction made in the joints. Also, uh, there are deep burns, the scar tissue inhabited the growth of the mandible, okay. Metabolic systems in the prenatal period, hypoplasia of the teeth may occur due to the endocrine dysfunction. In the postnatal period, endocrine disturbance may delay or stop the facial growth, but do not cause routine facial distortion. Okay, there is no knowledge about the direct effect of the specific endocrine dis uh, discomfort on malocclusion. Periodontal problems, macroglossia, more diastematic teeth, uh, senescing or development of the bone, low basal metabolic, all this effect, okay? In early period of uh, the hypofunction of the thyroid uh, gland, you can see dwarfism, small or small ma uh, person, okay? You can see uh, mental retardation, insufficient development of the head and face, short and flat nose, thick lips and turned out, uh, more uh, salivary secretion, delayed tooth eruption, retention of the milky tooth, okay? In the late period of the hypofunction, you can see dwarfism not occur or causes because um, the bone growth have been completed, generalized edema, periodontal uh, problems, macroglossia, more diastemic teeth, okay? In hyperthyroidism, uh, you can see uh, less saliva secretion, periodontal problem, and common dental caries uh, because there is a less uh, saliva secretion. Also, you can see acceleration in the eruption of the milk and permanent teeth, bluish color of the teeth. Also, there is a very important exosalamia. Okay, uh, pituitary gland. If there a uh, hyperfunction seen in the early period of the development are called hypofacial uh, facial, facial uh, gigantism. You can see a big uh, person. You can see head and the face larger than normal, large teeth dimension, acceleration in the teeth eruption, wide and big jaw, thickened uh, skill bones, large tongue, uh, polydiastema, okay? Um, in the hyperfunction uh, seen in the late period of development are called acromegaly, big head and food, macroglossia, thick and big lips, excessive uh, growth of the lower jaw, uh, further growth of the condyle, thickened uh, skill bones, hand, food, jaw, skill bones, growth in three directions. Okay, so there is very huge. Show in the pituitary gland hypofunction, hypophysia, dwarfism. If it, uh, if it is seen in early period, six to seven years, show atrophy in the reproductive organ, a weak, very small jaw, the plat uh, palatal is completed, flatted, teeth double sorted, small maxillary uh, sinus. Okay? A hyperfunction of the pyroid hormone is called Ricklin House disease, existing uh, local bone melting. It, uh, if it is uh, consists in the jaw, bone, short teeth migration, maybe a jaw fracture. Okay, uh, nutrition uh, or diet problems. Uh, people who diet uh, uh, more primitive and high fiber, more mus uh, muscular work. So you can see there is a good uh, teeth. Okay, less caries. But if you uh, can see there is uh, eating modern, soft uh, diet, there is um, have more malocclusion, okay? 
Uh, also, we see there's a, a vitamin D deficiency lead to the declaration in the time of the teeth eruption, periodontal problem, uh, locked jaw, the clinical appearance of back spots on the white enamel, okay? Also, vitamin uh, B deficiency lead to the uh, soft tissue concerns and migration of the teeth as a result of periodontal destruction. Also, uh, you can find the vitamin B uh, in uh, yeast and bran. Okay, vitamin C deficiency lead to the hyperatrophy of the gum. Uh, so <clears throat> they need uh, also early uh, classification of the teeth. Okay. Vitamin D is a delay in tooth eruption, failed tooth teeth classification is lead to the delay eruption, okay? Uh, so they need to check it, your patient, to you, um, if you take a good etiology, you can treat it, your patient. For this, we are study all these diseases and all this is uh, nutrition deficiency. Uh, all of this is very important for us. I um, explain it uh, for you, but you need to study it very well. To understand more, okay. Oral habits, all habits uh, can affect it. Um, uh, malocclusion can affect on the teeth and affect the lips, the tongue, so lead to malocclusion, okay. So the abnormal habits that may interfere with the regular pattern of the facial growth must be differentiated from the desired normal habits that uh, are a part of the normal oropharyngeal function that and thus play an important role in craniofacial growth and occlusal physiology, okay? Uh, deliteration, uh, habitual patterns of muscle behavior often are associated with the prevented or impeded osseous growth, uh, tooth mile position, disturbant breathing habits, this difficulty in speech, upset balance in the facial mu uh, muscular and uh, uh, psychological problem, okay? And thank you for listening. This lecture, we talk just about the general factor that affected on the etiology. And the next lecture, we talk about the uh, uh, local factor. Okay. I wait you next Wednesday. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's uh, Saturday. Saturday, 8.30. Okay. See you.